Wisconsin sports fans are passionate about Bo Ryan and his retirement. We know Coach Greg Gard's going to take over for the rest of the season, but what's next for Badger basketball? Here with some insight this morning is our friend Jim Rutledge from ESPN Matson. Good to see you. Good to see you. So this news and maybe the timing of it, I mean, I think we all knew this was coming, but the timing of it surprised you? A little bit when you try to kind of look a little deeper into it and you use the word passion there I think Bo is kind of lacking in that as far as being a coach right now and I think that's why he doesn't feel right coaching his team anymore but if you kind of go back to uh, it was a June or July when he kind of started the rumors came out and then he talked about that he's going to retire maybe at the end of the year and then he backtracked on it yeah I think the idea was if Greg Gard took over then Greg Gard had some personal things going on that maybe it wasn't the right time to hand that job over to Greg Gard Barry and Bo talked and both thought okay I can finish this year and then hand it off but then I think as the year went along, he thought, I'm not doing this team the right service. Greg Gard has recruited a lot of these guys. We talked to a lot of players. Greg Gard comes up with like 70% of the game plans. Now there's kind of a break in the schedule here. He gets the opportunity to work with these guys as the head coach. So if Bo is going to leave during the season, mm -hmm. now's the time to do it. So if yesterday was about celebrating Bo Ryan, today and looking forward is about Greg Gard coaching for this job, right? I mean, how this is an important stretch because this team – as it stands right now, is not going to make the NCAA tournament unless he does something. Yeah, and I think, I don't want to say coaching for his job because it's not like Barry Alvarez, I don't think Barry doesn't want him, but I think this is an audition for Greg Gard to coach University of Wisconsin Badgers or any other team. I mean, if he doesn't do well, if he doesn't do well enough to get the job here, that doesn't mean he's a bad coach. He might right. get a different opportunity because he's had other opportunities to interview for jobs. So Greg Gard is coaching, and he's welcomed this for the job at the University of Wisconsin or any other job in college basketball, and Bull Ryan set him up with that. So um, we had Rob Hernandez on yesterday, and he kind of made the, the uh, connection to Paul Christ and said both personality-wise and temperament-wise, guards a lot like Paul Christ. But is Greg Gard going to have to go somewhere else before he can come back? Yeah, and that's where the, the comparison's lacking is the fact that, you know, Paul did go somewhere, and he did prove himself. I mean, the yep. record at Pitt wasn't amazing, but when you talk about what he had to do to fix the entire program, he showed what he was capable of doing. I think Greg might have to. I mean, this is the University of Wisconsin. They just went to back-to-back -back Final Fours. There's going to be a national coaching search, which will include some big names tied to the state. We have about a half minute left. The biggest of those names is Tony Bennett, who's yep. at UVA. He's the son of the former coach here, Dick Bennett. Would Tony Bennett leave UVA to come to Wisconsin? I mean, he's got ties, obviously, to the state, to the university. I mean, it's the idea of, you want to talk about Paul Christ, obviously, Tony, personality-wise, might not fit, but coming home, the, the point guard coming back to the University of Wisconsin obviously didn't play there, but yeah. having coached there and his dad coached there, well, there's a lot of those ties there as well. It's going to be interesting to see. Jim Rutledge with ESPN Madison. Good to see you this morning. Good to see you. Appreciate your time as always.